man. What's going on in the world? You got the, you got, um, we're in a recession. For real. You don't want to call it that. Are, They're not calling it that. That's what it is, right? Okay. Um, you got a whole lot of things going on with the dollar. Quote unquote, everybody think it's going to fail and all these weird things because they don't really understand the way the world works. You have the situation with Russia and Ukraine, China, China Africa, India. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Right? So let's talk a little bit. You got the situation in Ukraine. Russia invades. China is watching it because the way they feel about Taiwan, which is Chinese people, respectfully. Asians. Right. But they're Chinese, yeah, yeah, though. Yeah. If you know the story of China and how, it was, how the People's Republic was formed and how the rest of them, when they formed their government, the people that wasn't that's necessarily for the government, that war group went to Taiwan and established that. But that's another story, yeah, right? But yeah. whatever. But that's why they have the one China, China policy, because they are Chinese. Child, yeah. So, now, we're not going to, quote unquote, have a hot war with Russia. All the wars that we fought against Russia was proxy. Yeah. Like the situation in Afghanistan. We're going to help your enemies. We're right. We supplied yeah, yeah. them with weapons when the, the Russians was in Afghanistan. You know, so forth and so forth. But not a hot war. We had a cold war yeah. that ended up ultimately bringing an end to the Soviet Union in the 90s. But not a hot war. So how do we fight wars now? Since 1944, around the Second World War, towards the end, they decided that we're going to use whose currency as the top reserve. That was the U.S. dollar. So, that gave us more influence, right? That affects people economies, their GDP. What is the GDP? That's the growth um, domestic product. Example of that. How does that work? How? Let's use it in street terms. We got a block. This block, we're going to use something small. They got an eight ball. They got an eight ball. You eight validate, ball little brick. It don't, right? it don't matter. Yeah, you got that eight ball. Cost you $85. You valid it up. You made one hundred and fifty dollars off that eight ball. So the GDP on that block is going to be the price. The end when you sell that with those nickels and dimes to that customer, that'll be the block GDP, the gross product development, right? And that's how they measure economies, right? Based on growth, the growth product. Excuse me, growth development product or whatever. So with that being said, you got a country like Russia. We're not going to have a hot war with them because we know. When, that, when those dominoes get to falling, it's going to lead to a nuclear war. End of the world. Nobody wants that. Nobody makes money. We could talk it doom and gloom and have people buy certain things to affect the stock market while they make money in the background. That's all it's about. Yeah, right. So now, okay. Um, so how do we punish Russia? With sanctions. Right? So if we trading with the dollar, right? And we all got these agreements where we buy and sell oil with the dollar, we trade goods and products with dollar, right? And let's say if I'm a car if I'm a car manufacturer inside of Russia, I need to get my tires from India. No, I need to get my tires from somewhere in the West like um um England. I gotta get my microchips for my smart cars from Taiwan. I gotta get all these different components because I don't they it's a lot of the stuff is outsourced because it might be cheaper, whatever the case may be. So if you sanction my company, you sanction my country and companies so we can't produce and have that GDP, you're, you're affecting my economy, which is going to it's going to be a trickle down effect, even though it's going to affect us lightly because we can't sell these parts. But ultimately, we break you that way. So. Brings us to what? Bricks. Right. That's what countries is that? Bricks. That is that is Brazil, Russia, India. China and South Africa. And India and China ain't the best of friends because they always have scrimmages on the border, right? You know, I'm, let, I'm, I'm letting you, I know, I'm you letting let, you, I'm letting you, no, I'm letting I'm, you I'm, about to, I'm about to pass it because I'm trying to, I'm trying to, this is the monologue in a sense, Yeah, right? I'm letting you rip, yo. So, so, so you have BRICS, right? And that's, you combine those countries, that's about almost half of the world's population. And collectively, they have a world GDP, right? So, think about it like this, and I'm just speculating. So China, we can China, speculate. China, right, China just, now you know China went Taiwan back, right? And other countries want to do different things. Like, America has their agendas. 
whether it's with sexuality, different ways that we try to influence people in different countries to do what we want them to do, and we'll offer them money or put sanctions on them. Now, in order for countries to move the way they want to move without getting their foot put on their neck by the West, and the only way West is going to not necessarily invade their country because we got all these international laws, we do sanctions and trade, trade agreements and stuff like that. So the only way to affect them is by sanctions and different trade restrictions, right? So what BRICS is doing is coming up with a trade currency. Not I'm getting sorry. rid of the dollar, but a trade currency. They own, yeah, they own, they own currency. So you tell me, outside of what we just talked about, why do you think that's a big threat to the West? I don't think that it's the biggest. As, I don't think that, first, before I, before I say anything, right, some of this shit is going to be out of the scope of our understanding because we looking at, it's almost like looking at a, a quarter of a puzzle mm -hmm. and trying to say like, yo, it's a that, right? We, you don't have enough of the pieces. So I only can speak off of just a little bit that we are allowed to see. I think that um, as far as the sanction go, the sanctioning goes, right? The sanction, to me, it's like, all right, when you your brother or sister does something bad and your mother may see it, and she maybe she don't really give a fuck, so she punish him anyway. Mm -hmm. She punish him because you see it, ma, you let him get away with that. Right. So it's like the sanctions are, are, are that, bro. They, they're a joke. Do you think the fucking, you think our country really gives a fuck what you're doing over there? No. But we're supposed to be, you know, the superpower or the protectors. So what do we do? do you, like, we sanction, right? That's one thing. Like nobody really gives it. Like America doesn't really give a fuck about you know what's going on nowhere. But don't you think that serves as an obstacle to other countries, and that's like their way around it? Because everybody was worried about no, like the dollar is going no, to do all these no, different things. So it it does. It serves the purpose of what it's doing. It makes people scared. Oh, your dollars. Yo, America's never. One America's never um, defaulted on any debts for the World Bank. Like they, they never America's never so basically what I'm saying is credit wise or money wise, <laughs> America is good. And if you take everybody that you just mentioned and mentioned their economies, even Africa's uh, uh that's where we come from. That's our homeland, right? So the soil is rich. But what happens when you have a dictatorship? One person hogs up all the money. Mm -hmm. One thing about America, like that, that people seem to miss, right, is it is what it is. We can make a list of complaints, right? But I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Me either. America spreads the wealth around. Okay. All right. So when you every other place that you manage, one person, universal health care, that is, that that, that is, that that. The money is maybe a handful of people have all the money, right? Right. Here, that money spread around, bro. It's more opportunity. It's more opportunity, bro. So you always gonna get the greatest thinkers, the greatest minds, the, the greatest uh, scholars from uh, Russia or Ukraine. They wanna come here. Why? Right. Because you can be a a, a a very smart person. You could go to America and you can. Yeah, you can thrive. You can thrive, yeah, bro. Fine. You like it's, it's and it's that. it's uh that's not gonna be like I say. I'm not I'm not a uh, I'm not a, a fucking specialist. Some of this shit is just. Good old common sense, right? And mm -hmm. I don't think that America has came in, into this type of power only to to lose it. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I agree. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying, like, because it, it benefits nobody, body, like, to have a hot war. No, but I, I, I don't even think, not to cut you off, I don't even think you got to, it's a funny thing, right? So it's just like with, with news, right? Um, we, we consume so much news, right? So it's like when you... When you see some some uh, piece of news that you don't agree with or you don't like it or it sounds like a lie, you dismiss it. That's some bullshit, bro. Yeah. But when it's, you see some news or you get some information that sounds like it's in accordance to your core beliefs, yeah, you're gonna you believe it. that news. Yeah, you're not being objective. You're going to find yeah, it. Yeah, you like because it, because it's something there that you like or that y'all believe that. So it's like you, you try picking news, but because it stands with something that's in accordance to what you believe, you believe that news. So even with with the bricks and the, the scenario that you gave, that's something that we we yo we know America be on some bullshit. So it's just like certain news you like yo yeah that is right. Al Dollar is really in trouble, right. and it's like yo mm -hmm. bro, it's is really, it's really not that they I, what I they're would, trying to I do. Would, I would agree with you. Yeah, bad. go ahead. No, what that what they're trying to do is it's actual and and that's and that's factual, right? Mm -hmm. But. The dollar, think about the people here and how much everybody wastes money. 
Everybody here live above their means. Uh, we live above our means. We spend a whole yo. We spend a whole lot of money. Yeah. So what what will happen if now y'all come up with your own currency? Who the fuck is adapting to that? You think we adapting to that? We got enough. Yo, we got enough resources in almost every area to thrive all on ourselves. Everything is outsourced. This is a fact. Everything is outsourced for, for us to make a profit. Right. And but the, the way that works with it being outsourced with our currency being a reserve currency so it works in our favor and that's just it that's why you don't want to be nowhere else in the world that's right? what I'm saying because now now and we start trading hold on if we start trading if they come up with their own so fences right so now from what they say that their GDP combined would be like 26% of the world's GDP right and they have other countries eager to join BRICS right and and it's not to say that they they just I just think that it's they feel like it's time for a change and they want their lives to change. They want to live like us, but not under our thumb. It seems to me, in a sense, from what the news say, um, that the world is almost re it's like a kid growing up rebelling against his parents. Now they think they know enough, they know it all, and now they're ready to do it themselves, in a sense. And not just that. Now countries could now we trading with a different currency. Countries can move the way they want to move and do certain things outside of quote unquote international law and the threat of a sanction not being able to trade and buy things in their currency which can affect your economy blah 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 they don't have to go through that because they're trading with a different one. Oh, play like I, I get everything so you're i saying. think is that the threat that's not a that's that's was well, that is that balance to the universe that's to me right again right like some of this shit is like it's totally out of the scope of our understanding right and it's just like all right if that that does work for them right they now have their own reserve currency that's outside of their sanction, and now they trade and they doing like all right. So if they do and that works, how does that affect us? It affects us in the sense of influence. That's it, and being able to penalize people that don't play by our rules, yeah. quote unquote international rules. Yeah, but and that is the threat. Yeah, but you have to ask yourself what like again, right? That we're opposed, we're America, right? Yeah. So it's like we are, we're the uh, high school principal, right? Yeah, the bully. The whole uh, I like being on the winning team. Uh, <laughs> the whole sanction piece, anyway, is you know uh, y'all just gonna let them do this to us? No, we're we're gonna impose more sanctions. Like nobody really that shit don't mean. Well, see, you can say that because you're not on the end of those sanctions. We never, we can't. We we're not the ones on the end of those sanctions. We affect our economy. We trickle down to like the low level yo, people where they're losing jobs because yo, they can't no so longer manufacture that's, certain and things. This is, this is why I was saying what I was saying. Those countries that Russia and those countries that get sanctioned, the poor people there are already very fucking poor. The sanctions okay. affect the rich. But here's the thing though. Like or, it's no it's no middle I, like I go agree. Ahead. no, you're absolutely right. <laughs> but what I'm saying is you but I, I think I think it ain't as much as water under the bridge, because if it wouldn't they wouldn't be trying to move a different way to to they could have that, so that wouldn't be a problem. And what I mean by having that, by starting bricks, which was like over like since two thousand and one, and now even talking about coming up with their own trade currency, so they won't have to deal with that yes, anymore. Yes, I I do I agree because but... in certain cases it can influence people because they don't want their business to stop. Some rich people don't not like yeah but that's they want to keep their revenue that's coming. What I, in. That's what I'm trying to tell you, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to. If you look up those places that you mentioned. Right. The wealth is at the tippy top, right? right? Ain't no middle. There's no middle class. <laughs> it's just wealthy I agree. and right. poor. I'm not so just those, that. yeah. Those sanctions that get imposed, right? Those sanctions are going on the the top, the top of the right. top. So it's so like the, so the people that fund the people like fences, right? If they got quote unquote elections and stuff like that, that those people like here, the people that make all the money fund the people right. who's running in office, yeah, right? So, so we affect them. So our way to influence government by hitting the people, the money people to say, hey, stop doing that, back off of this because it's affecting my money in this bank over here in this country. It's affecting my money here in this country. And if our money is, if the dollar is the leading currency, a lot of those rich people, their money are in dollars. So, all right. So, so the part that I guess maybe people don't, I guess, understand, right? So, come on. If let's let's just say Russia and the guy that mm -hmm. runs Russia, I'm mean, gonna say his Who? name, right? Right. So, uh, so, so, I right. Him. So, <laughs> look, right. So, if if we track his wealth, his spending, the things he owns, America knows directly. If we impose this type of sanction, this may cost him. He's 
That's insanely, exactly what we're doing. He's insanely, yeah, no, insanely I get, wealthy. I get your point. Go right, ahead. but it's like, oh, we'll impose them, that sanction there, that, which is it's a fucking joke, right? We'll impose those sanctions, but he still made, like, damn, yeah, bro, that's exactly. costing me. They, people in power, they're looking at 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, shit for their kids, kids, kids. That's mm-hmm. the difference between, they ain't just thinking about kids right. to college, they're thinking about legacy. So right. he made, the people over there may look at it like, yo, that, that sanction is costing you five million a year. Shit, ten years. That's right. So, and, and then, and with that being said, and if they can say, well, in three years we'll have our own currency to trade. Yeah, by, that's that's what I'm saying. But all. it's like it's like the reason it's a the reason it's a, a joke is when we when you see sanction, you think about damn that you think about like if we were to get sanctioned and what a sanction might do for the middle class or right. whatever. Because it's different like, kinds yeah, of sanctions, so, though. Yeah, so economic. Now, right. if to the to the Russians. They don't feel it. The the people that's working in the stores or the poor people, they don't feel a sanction. Why? They already poor. Well, I'm a, I'm not I, I I'm gonna say this. I don't think everybody's like, especially in these European countries. It's not like everybody's super duper poor. You know, they living life like we're living life. I mean, with the internet, you can see people living differently and going to the gym, going it's to different, work and stuff bro. like it's, that. It's you different. It's different. You definitely give me resistance. Show it's different because, what what you may see. The everyday run the mill shit is people are able to live like that because right, the same here though. It is, but it's like a lot of stuff there is, is universal, right? So they don't have health care, they don't make a lot of money, the rent is not expensive. So it may look like they're living like we are, but the overhead for things but, isn't. But see, but here's the thing. And they don't make the type they're not they don't have the opportunity to make the type of money that I'm we not, make. I'm not I'm not going to dispute that in the sense that it's better here. That's not what I'm saying. But people are living there because they are consum- we are cons- of course like we probably the number one consumer. We but are. people are consuming everywhere. Oil gets sold they use oil and gasoline domestically in those countries and sell it because it's one of their resources. They drive cars, Again. they fly planes, they wear luxury clothes, they do drugs, they drink. And you know what I'm saying? Ah, I'm cramping up. It 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 all it do it, it depends on maybe also. maybe pr- countries like Africa, certain parts is not it's probably more of that than yeah. less of that. You know what I'm saying? It 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 depends on where you're talking about one and church <laughs> and yeah. two. It's not it's not that you still can. You still can party. People still make you. People still make but, money. Right, but all I'm saying is, all the only pushback I'm giving you is not necessarily on your whole entire. Yeah, point. yeah, no, no, no. My pushback is only on the fact that it do in certain cases, depending on what industry is being sanctioned, it can affect people. And you're saying that it's not it's not that big of a deal because they already live in a certain type of way. Am I, yes. am I understanding your point right? Yes, no. I so, mean, so you're saying so, so, but to the whole point. You're saying it's not really a threat; it's a joke, because of the, with the, that point you was making there. Because so, at the bottom, you know, it, people are reliving a certain type of way, and at the top, they got money so, reserved. Yeah, just just so we clear, it, it definitely is a joke, right? Mm-hmm. It's a it's a again, right? Because it's like, oh, you, again, you telling me, oh, look what they doing. So look, look what Russia doing in Ukraine. Look, look, look. So what? Oh, uh, we're gonna pose another series of sanctions. It's like, bro, yeah, because to your point, right? You'll hear him say it the first time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Then something else, another bomb would drop. Oh, we're gonna do more sanctions. Well, what yeah, did the first ones do? Right. Then when you really look into right. it, it be individuals, yeah, and, yeah. and they might be in control it's, of certain yo, industries. It's all, all, it, this, all, it's just the stuff that affect like that military production and stuff like that. Yeah. Not necessarily to really affect all the common all people. All it is is to say we did something about it. Well, and all, but hold on. But see, the other part of that it's like is... like getting rolled up at your job. To your, point, <laughs> to your point, though, to your point, like even with the oil and stuff like that, right? Um, They still... they All these European powers on the West side, they're not supposed to be buying oil, but they still buying oil yeah, from us. It. And then, it's, it's, sidebar, we blew up that day on Pipeline, it's, yeah, it's, by the way. It's, but they still buying oil. So it's like it is I guess to a certain you, degree it is you, a joke because these countries are gonna do what they want to do you, anyway. And you want you want it's in their favor. Why are they gonna you, go against their interests? You want us you want people to actually really think that we really have a serious issue with China and some of these other countries. We doing business with them. How do you how do you how do you how do you shoot the dude how you shoot the dude that get you gave the pack and then get your money back? Yeah, you don't. You don't, you don't <laughs> shoot them. It's like a lot of a lot of a lot of yo We've been fucking indoctrinated, man. Like America is this and this and this and this. It's the land of the brave and home. Like again, I, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. But it's right. it's uh, it's this 
this inclination that we're the big brother of everybody, we're the protectors, or we're in the other countries looking at like, yo, who the fuck you think? Once upon a time, shit? but once exactly that's what I mean. It's like the kid that grew up. Once upon a time, after the Second World War, after we dropped two nuclear bombs, and after we established, we came out on top and put everybody on our umbrella, which led to the Cold War. Back then. You know what I mean? When we had a budget. It's gonna be so now, now answer me this. So to answer the first question, no, it, we is not necessarily a threat. It's a joke. Yeah. Made in bricks is not a threat it's to the West. Not a threat at all. Man. But it, and the sanctions is a joke. They, they're a joke. Right. Now it really, keeps us scared over here. Yeah. If you keep people scared, they it's buy, easy to control. They buy guns. Yes. They 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 yes. do certain stuff, and then that affects the stock market. Remember yo everything. Everybody, like, remember yo everything. The the time that we in now. The media that we get, the information that we're allowed to get, the information that's, that's uh, being kept from us, like, I feel like, yo, here, it, we feel like we're free. Nah, right. right? We, we, like, that's yeah. the illusion. You can come over here and get the money. You may feel free, and you're a lot freer here than anywhere else. Right. But you, you're not free, right? And mm. the way we use our devices, the things we talk about, are being tracked, right? Yeah, like, yeah, so it's yeah. just like they know the government now can tell um, East Baltimore, right? From district head, district such and such to district such and such, they buy on a month $10,000 worth of Tide. Or they vote this way and they buy this amount of gas. Why? Because of the transactions. The shit we talk yeah. about, the Facebook, the. So, like, more than ever, they have more. And 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 because you're up and 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 Trump's presidency showed that it exposed what people think and what parts of this country. So it's like when you know that, right? Mm -hmm. The government they playing chess, they playing chess yeah, board. We we looking at the board like like it's checkers. Mm -hmm. So it's like yo, the information that you are allowed, the information that you are privy to, keep in my opinion keeps you in the state of fear, right? So, I think it's a fact. That's not yeah. opinion. That's a yeah, fact. It's, it's, it keeps you in fear. You see strange shit happen. You fucking UFOs, people getting killed. You want to maybe stand up and do something. But guess what you got to do? You got two, three kids. You got to go to work. Yeah, you're, you're you bound know, like you, by yeah, you. You're, 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 you're in debt. You got to go to work. Mm -hmm. You might feel this way about this. You might want to stand up for this. You might want to go riot at the school because of all the shootings. But guess what? You got to yeah. wake up at 5 yeah. in the morning and you got to go to work, which yeah, and, snips and, your and, power. Like, yeah. So it's like we see all this fucked up shit, people yes. depressed, but it's like nobody, is nothing nobody can do. And the government plays long ball, bro. So yeah. you, when we looking at something in our lifetime, well, yo, that's fucked up. They're looking at, okay, we're going to get some resistance here. We're going to get some resistance from 30 to 65, right? But when they die... We have a whole generation of kids that are grow up with just the cell phones. Right. We'll be able to totally indoctrinate them. It's like, let me say this, it's like, mm -hmm. there was a time probably, it's a good example, I'm going to lay a cramp too. There was a time when, um, hey, yeah, yo. yo, there was a time when, there was a, there, was a, there was a time when people still rode horses and the mm -hmm. automobile was invented, right? Mm -hmm. You think motherfuckers rode the horses, they, it was resistance. We don't yeah. ride no fucking car, fuck yeah, the car. Exactly. That shit will play out, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> now nobody rides horses anymore. Right. The people who, so it's like, who, who yeah, so it's like, had a problem. That's like the shit that we see that we, uh, in our lifetime, that we have a problem with that the government is doing. They're like, oh, <laughs> All right, yeah. we'll play, we'll play, we'll play long, long ball. ball because we, cause, because in a sense, like history repeats itself. Like because, like we all, we see these things as the now. Like you said, they playing long ball, and not only that, they looking back too. And they see what works and what didn't work. Yeah, you know what I mean. You said something that's going to segue into the next topic. We talk about the government and stuff like that, and uh, I think we have a real dope discussion. Discussion, man. Um, Should be out it. of the scope of my understanding. My shit is a. Uh, Bro, my shit is uh, street shit, right? So the, the things that happen in the street are usually very simple, but they're very complex. Yeah. And a lot of times, if I don't, if I don't understand something on a, a large level, I don't, I don't understand all the moving pieces. What I understand is like, I guess the dynamics of, right. of people, like what people are motivated by. So we was in the street, it's, it's coke, dope. Ready. They just the biggest. We and it's like, all right, like what? Like this person is motivated because they want this. So this person is, this girl is motivated because she wants to ride in a car. The and world she is ran like the streets. Exactly. It's, 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 it's a bigger it's, version. It's, it's, exactly. So a lot of things. You that, got your shooters. Exactly. 
You got exactly. you got you got exactly. all that. Yeah. Exactly. So, so so you can relate, so don't never No no no, yeah, yeah. Hey, so but I'm just saying my my, my 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 um again, right? Like you like people will look at a problem and they, they make it very complex. Well this and then it's that. And I'm saying that certain things when I say that something is out of the scope of my understanding is I don't know the long play, right? So I might not know um a certain things being started where they might lead. But what I do know off the off the rip is, yo. We can hypothesize. Yeah, but it's like it's like off the rip. It's like, yo, um, all right, that's a money play because if you if you force people into that, those people are scared. If you release this information, that's gonna yeah, make cause go and by. effect. Yeah, I understand that, right? So if it's it's, if, we, if we effect. if we on the street and do you start whispering about yo, it's gonna be a drought. The dudes go buy all the drugs. Exactly. So <laughs> it's like it's, it's, I'm, like it's, it's like with chess. Like if I move this piece, it kind of you, you only can do so many things, and, and, and there's so many things you can do. That reaction not telling it that. So it's like it's like being in the head. It's either them or us. So it's them, cause our guns bust. We bust heads down here for real, nigga. I be the last face you see behind the tree.